G'day there, trendsetters. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom. We're about to finish the second week of Sefirot Omer, where we, uh, we've been focusing on the attribute of Gvura, of discipline. And I was thinking about some of the works of Dr. John Gottman uh, when it comes to marriage. And he talks a lot about the four horsemen of the apocalypse, which when we look at this through a lens of IFS, a lens of curiosity and depth, we can understand that the four horsemen are really on some level ultimately protectors. The criticism, the contempt, defensiveness and stonewalling, these are all tactics that part of, parts of us can do to kind of hide pain, protect from pain, preempt pain and prevent exiles from bubbling to the surface, painful traumas from our past, from attachment injuries, from being triggered and overwhelming our system when it comes to the inevitable and tragic triggering of them in close intimate relationships in marriage. And I think something that's very important about the IFS approach is that we see the four horsemen of the apocalypse not as the disease itself, but as symptomatic of something else. We look curiously and compassionately and courageously with discipline to not the horsemen, but the horse they are riding on. What is the horseman ultimately trying to get control of, trying to protect, trying to avoid? We get curious about that and we ask, hey, the part of you that has contempt, the part of you that gets defensive, what are they worried about? What are they worried would happen if they didn't have this path? And through that, we can tame the horse, we can get to know the horse, we can heal the horse, and we won't let wild horses like this Rolling Stones song drag us away. So wishing you all the power to have the reins, the gvura, the severity, the discipline to control. We should all have the, the power to control and, and, and care for our inner horses. Stay Hasidic, stay curious and Shabbat Shalom.